Well, hello everybody, I'm Dr. Robert Butter, the Lifestyle Doctor. Today we're going to be going through the eighth question in our 10 question series, Are You Healthy? And that question is, do you worry often? Now there's a lot more to health than simply the physical side of things. And one of the biggest impacts that people don't think about is actually mental health. And I'm not talking about people with conditions, mental conditions like depression and things like that. I'm talking about just overall stressing and worrying and using your brain correctly, mastering your mind. It's probably one of the most difficult things you can possibly do. I'm still on that journey. You see, the World Health Organization, it defines health as optimum physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of symptoms, symptoms, disease and infirmity. So if that's the case, how do we create optimum mental well-being? Well, the short answer is we need to not worry. We need to stop worrying on a regular basis. It is one of the most damaging things we can do to our bodies and our minds. Worry. You see, our bodies are designed to handle stress on a on a on an as-needed basis. So imagine you're out in the woods one day and you come across a full-size grizzly bear and he's angry. Naturally, your body's stress response is going to kick in. Your blood's going to flood your limbs, your arms and legs, so you're able to run faster. You know, your immune system's going to just quietly suppress. Your digestion's going to go down because you don't need those to survive. And then you're probably going to run away. Now, I don't know a lot about bears, so if running away is the wrong thing to do, I'm probably going to get eaten. But my stress response will at least fly away. So one of the things that, uh, that happens after we get away from the bear is that that stress response will decrease. The hormones will decrease. Our, our bodies will go back to normal. Now, what worrying does is that it raises those stress levels for a end to eternity. They just don't go away. If you're consistently worrying about things and gnawing at it away in your brain, then what will happen is, is that those stress hormones will elevate and they'll stay elevated. And this can lead to things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, poor digestion, low energy, poor immune system, even increased internal inflammation, which is where your organs get inflamed, which can be the precursor to a lot of chronic illness. So if worrying so bad, how do we stop? And that is the question. Well, there's a couple of things. The first thing I'd think about doing would be to keep a gratitude journal. Now, I've already covered this extensively in another post, how to write a gratitude journal. So I'll direct you there because that will make a lot of sense to you. The second way is to think about your circles of concern versus your circles of influence. Most people have a circle of influence that's fairly small, you know, it controls things, uh, it contains things like what you can control, you know, what you're going to eat for dinner that night, how you're going to exercise, um, what are you going to do during your day, things that are within your influence. Now, the other circle that most people have is a circle of concern. Now, this contains all the things that you're worried about. So things like, you know, weight loss and, um, and what you're going to eat might fit into your circle of concern, but they're also overlapped by your circle of influence. Other things that are inside your circle of concern might be things like the war in Iraq, drug smuggling in Peru, you know, the fires that are occurring in Canada. I don't know, but things that you probably don't have a direct influence over. And that's your circle of concern. Now, the idea is that you want your circle of influence and your circle of concern to be completely overlapping. That way, if there is something you're worried about, you're actually able to do something about it. And that is a great way to stop worrying. I'll be covering this later on in the next few weeks in an extensive post about circle concern versus circle influence. So, there are two great techniques to use to help minimize your worrying. So, if you got something out of this, then I'd ask that you subscribe to our channel and that you share this with people who need to know this. I'm Dr. Robert Bue, the Lifestyle Doctor. Have a fantastic day, everyone.